I went through my entire collection of uh, 20-ish handbags. Yes, it was under 20 before, but now it's gone back up. I did my best to choose the ones that I felt like were the most uh, usable in my collection. In any case, we should all keep in mind that no one handbag is perfect in every single way. I was tagged by two very lovely ladies to do this video. My favorites with Maggie and my friend Clara Zila. I will have their videos linked down below, so go check them out. So the first one I wanted to share with you is my LV Twice. This handbag was initially called Louis Vuitton Twin Set, and then it became Clutch, and then it became Twice. I think that was the last name that uh, was given to this handbag and unfortunately it is already discontinued since but it is one of my most usable one their on point leather is truly phenomenal obviously the color really helps and like i said no handbags are perfect so if you do own this bag in say their pink color then for sure the wear and tear won't be as good other than the material and the color what makes this handbag really usable is that it's really easy to get in and out of it does have two bigger compartments with one secret compartment i like the fact that it is a classic shape it has a strap it's easy to throw on but it's very thin it stays close to your body it kind of is similar to the celine trio but without the wear and tear that the Celine Trio gets because the Celine is, I think, lambskin, whereas this is a beautiful calfskin that is grained and it's hardy, it's thick. Also, don't be fooled at how thin it looks. It actually fits a ton, especially the main two compartments. They really do expand quite a bit. I used to carry my vlogging camera in here. I usually use the front compartment for my ease of access items such as my phone, my hand sanitizer, my car keys. I usually put it in the front and then in the back where it has the zip compartment, I always put my card holder, my house keys. In the middle compartment, as you can see, I have a few things already because I just used this bag earlier. I went to get my blood drawn and uh, get some groceries. So this was where I put my Medicare card. Even if I needed to let go of certain bags to fund newer bags, I probably wouldn't sell this one first of all this one is discontinued so i would not be able to rebuy it at the condition and also it wouldn't be the exact same bag that i owned and second of all it's just a wonderful wonderful bag even though it has been discontinued there are a lot of them in the secondhand market which i will link down below i think this was one of the best entry level leather handbag full leather handbag that lv has ever made microfiber line this has become sort of my go-to on days that i just I'm not trying to impress anyone but at the same time I want to wear a nice bag so this is definitely my go-to and I like I love that it's so thin and uh, so portable I can also kind of carry it as a clutch when I'm just I don't know trying to avoid the rain or something like there's just um, so much going for this bag even though it doesn't have any top handles which I normally favor strap is thin it doesn't get in the way but I, I also have access to it for cross bodying all the hardware quality um, the zipper pulls even though it has minimal hardware it's just everything is just made the way that you would expect a luxury bag to be and so I think that the LV twin set or the LV twice is one of the best most usable handbags that LV has ever made and none of the more current sort of bags that are similar to this that they make now are even close in my opinion. Let's get all the LV bags out of the way. And so the second one I wanted to feature is the Neverfull. I think that this is one of the most usable or practical bag that LV has ever made. Uh, in fact, so much so that I thought that I needed a second one, which is why I made uh, a custom one, which I am still currently trying to let that go because I, also don't need two large totes in my collection in any case this is my oldest never fold that i've owned and that i really go back to and use all the time every time i just needed to know that i can just throw things in my bag without any organizing without knowing whether i have enough space because there's for sure enough space in this bag now i'm not gonna say that okay this is the best tote in the world it isn't it's just that in my collection the Neverfull is my biggest bag and it's 
a tote and it's an open tote without any sort of closure so it's really easy to get in and out of the monogram canvas on this one is just been wonderful it's um, something that I don't have to worry about when it rains yes I do have a shed on my bag and that is something that does patina so in terms of wear and tear if you don't like to see the bag darken or have spots here and there then it is not the best option for you but they do have their other leather trims this bag has maybe a bad rep in a sense that it's too entry level or that it's too overdone or that there's too many dupes and um, replicas because it's so popular but in any case as long as you are happy with your bag as long as you know how your bag performs and as long as you look good wearing your own bag and as long as you know that your own bag is authentic that's all it matters right it doesn't really matter what others say because i mean i own some very expensive bags and i own this and i love it just as much i know i can count on this bag when i need to i'm gonna reserve my chanel and elmas bags for last so the other one that i wanted to feature is this handbag the prada crystal re-edition bag and it's a really surprising one just because you would never think that oh an all man-made fabric bag especially with crystals would be the most usable in fact the crystals themselves um, they are so solidly placed on this bag. Apparently there is a special process where it's like thermal heat, whatever. How, that's how they, they put it on the fabric where it doesn't come off that easily, if at all, that um, makes this bag the most usable and the most weatherproof in a sense that this layer of, of crystal really does protect your bag from, from the wear and tear. And in fact, even if you were to scratch the crystal, how would you even see that the crystals are, sc are scratched, right? It's just impossible because it reflects the light so well. I think aside from having the crystals completely destroyed and removed from the bag, you really wouldn't see any wear and tear on the body of the bag. The main wear and tear that I can foresee is just the interior getting um, wear and tear because it's a very fine, uh, soft satin and then also the handle because it's just a textile it's just fabric and even then it's not that bad and i'm sure that those of you who do love and take care of your luxury bags you don't just thrash them around and you would not just like shove things in your bags anyway so i'm sure with just a bit of common sense and just by using your bags more in a humane way it's it's gonna be fine even if you don't have any sort of liner or organizer but as you can see i do have an organizer in there that alone has been not only a game changer but i know that it will just prevent me from having to worry at all for the inside especially because the outside is already perfect so really aside from the fabric on the interior the outside of the bag doesn't get much wear and tear especially if you get it in the black of course the color black is universally the best color for the weather and for wear and tear in general. Surprisingly, this bag looks great even when you're dressed really casually, but also when you need to be dressy because it obviously has a dressy vibe to begin with. But it's very, very nice to dress very casually and still be able to wear this bag. It just is such a chameleon in a sense that it's similar to how uh, a classic clap is where you can dress down, dress up. I will say, however, that the main con of this bag is that it is only a mostly handheld bag in a sense that if you want it to be completely hands-free, you would have to wear it on your shoulder. That is not always possible depending on um, how thick your arms are or maybe how thick your winter coat is. And that is the only sort of downside of this bag. With the two earlier bags that I discussed, they at least had longer shoulder strap and a crossbody strap. So in a sense that this one is not as hands-free. Um, it's still not bad because it's uh, you can still do the crook of your arm, but it's just not the most hands-free one. Up next is a handbag that I just did a very thorough review and I encourage you to watch it and I will link it up here because I talked about everything. I have had this bag for six months or actually over six months now. So I really uh, felt so strongly about it. But not only that, even after my first use, I already fell in love. So this is the Hermes Picotin 
and mine is in the 18 size and it is basically a bucket bag and similar to the Prada crystal bag the only downside is that it is mostly a crook of the arm or handheld bag because it doesn't have any shoulder straps where you can crossbody it so although you can technically be hands-free by carrying it on the crook of your arm it's not as convenient as having a crossbody strap actually there's another really main con as well is that this bag is not readily available all the time it is actually harder and harder to get not just their quota bags but also their non-quota bags are getting harder and harder to get there is definitely a shortage and the popularity has risen so much that um, this bag even though it used to be much easier to get it is no longer the case so I guess that is a con but aside from that this bag is just wonderful and I don't want to repeat myself but it's one of the lightest bags that I own but it's also one of the most sort of um, polite and just demure uh, easy going easy reach in and out minimalist um, if you don't know the brand you just wouldn't even know that it comes from a very prestigious a very high-end um, brand so I will say that uh, the Hermes Bicotin in any size but especially I favor the 18 it's it's the cutest size in my opinion and it's a very usable size um, I, I have to say this this is definitely hands down one of the best most usable practical bag out there we are down to the last two bags that I wanted to talk about and they're both my Chanel bags I had the hardest time I think choosing from my Chanel collection because that is definitely the majority of my collection as you may or may not know but if you didn't know I will also link to my handbag collection a video of course I have to maybe update it soon but uh, the gist of it is still there and I picked two Chanel handbags where I really felt like were the most usable the most practical and of course you've seen it on the thumbnail this is the Chanel 19 of course in color black in the small size the leather that they use on the 19 is just more treated in a way that you don't feel like you have to baby the bag even if it's lambskin which mine is mine is actually lambskin but it's the 19 lambskin and the 19 lambskin is so very um, luxurious and soft but it's not as delicate and raw as their classic lambskin it looks like a classic without being a classic which is one of those things that make it more usable it is still recognizable without being that status and therefore it makes it more usable in a sense i don't know if that makes sense to you of course i'm not saying that it's not expensive it is still very expensive but for me this is not only more durable first of all but it's not so you know oh i'm a chanel classic it doesn't feel that way and also it really is more usable because it's so easy to get in and out just turn lock these turn locks are just wonderful they're just the best best closures in my opinion i love chanel bags for that reason this is one thing that chanel excels the most at is that their turn lock closures especially the classic turn lock closure um it opens but also closes easily every time you like without even having to aim really it it goes back in and that is one thing that chanel just excels absolutely um against all other brands the 19 also has the advantage of this large pocket in the back the ease of just grabbing your bag with the top handle chain this is a major major plus of this bag and the fact that it still is a crossbody bag because you do have this really oversized um, chunky chain which arguably can make the bag heavier and uncomfortable for some people I don't use it a ton but I love that it's there because I know that if I really did need to be completely hands-free that I have access to it but all in all it's just great for space convenient to get in and out easy to open and close and because the material of the 19 is less delicate than their classic lambskin all in all it just makes it the most practical Chanel bag that I have I wonder how many will guess the last one my last Chanel bag which one would I have chosen it is also one of my favorite bags that I will never part with and it is 
none other than the Chanel Mini Square in Caviar. The reason why I chose this one in particular is because it is caviar and therefore the material itself, the color itself makes it super weatherproof. I don't worry so much if it's drizzling, raining outside. Um, obviously with any bags, I wouldn't want to bring it out in pouring rain. I have more inexpensive bags for that. But if it's just drizzling a little bit, which I have no worries for any of these bags, if it's just drizzling a little bit, I don't worry about it too much. Of course, life is not about always being minimal and downsizing. Therefore, I do appreciate bags that have a bit of leeway. And all the ones prior to this one have that convenience of having that extra space. That is definitely a plus for all the ones that I've discussed earlier, but on days that I just feel like I want to be cute, especially when I'm traveling, frankly this is my most traveled bag, so I feel like this has to be part of this tag because uh, not only has it been the most used travel-wise, it probably is one of the most used in my collection. I mean, just look at it. Doesn't it look new to you? It does, right? It just is one of my most usable bags in a sense that wear and tear is great. There's hardly any. Um, getting in and out of it is great as well. This is also one of those bags you don't have to really aim to open and close. Um, it does fit my phone. It really is one of the most usable bags out there and you wouldn't expect that for a mini size bag just because of its size but it is. Thank you so much ladies for tagging me. In fact, this gave me an idea for a follow-up of this tag. I'll see if I feel like doing it, but thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe. If you want to support me further, you can also join my membership where you get more exclusive content or you can just buy me a coffee. I'll have all of that linked down below. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!